Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at the new update to Animal Crossing New Horizons. As you can see the version number is now 1.4.0 instead of 1.3.1 as before. You may also notice in the bottom left corner there's a new thing saying backups not set. Apparently there's a cloud backup feature in this version of the game that wasn't there before. So we're going to start by having a look at that. I just hit the minus button, I know you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello, Danielle. This is where I take on important requests related to settings. The requests I accept here are very serious ones, so children should get help from a parent or guardian. Now, what settings would you like to talk about today? Uh, uh island backup. Ah yes, you like to talk about our island backup service, hmm? Well first, the service is only for use when your Nintendo Switch system has been lost or damaged. That said, how can I help you? Uh, enable? Of course, of course, you'd like to enable island backup? I'd be happy to help. Let me just talk you through a few items first, hmm? To enable island backup or restore data, you must be a user who plays Animal Crossing New Horizons. Okay. And you must have an active Nintendo Switch Online membership. Let's see, what else? Oh, when Island Backup is enabled, data will be uploaded via the internet automatically. This will happen when you are not playing the game. So, you sure you want to enable Island Backup? Sure. Understood. I'll enable the Island Backup service right away. Okay. So, um, you may not already be aware of this, but the Switch has a cloud save backup feature. And there we go. Island Backup has been enabled. From now on, your data will be uploaded when no one else is when no one is playing the game. That is, provided your Nintendo Switch system is connected to the internet, of course. You can see the date and time of your most recent backup in the lower left corner of the title screen. So, if you want to confirm that the service is working, please check there in the future. Now, let's return to the title screen. See you on count a lot. So yeah, um, there is a cloud backup feature just built into the Switch itself. Uh, if you have a look in the menu here, you can see it says Save Data Cloud. Uh, the thing is, this new feature they've added does not use Save Data Cloud, it's its own thing. And I don't understand why, because all these other games are using the normal cloud feature and they don't need a special thing just for this one game. Um, and like these, these backups, like, that will synchronize to, you know, if you have a second switch, it will synchronize to that as well. Whereas this won't, and I don't understand why that is. Also play Bug Vables, please play it, it's so good. <laughs> I just I just really like Bug Fables. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they've added a save backup feature, but you can't use it in all the ways you can use the backup feature that the Switch already has, which is not supported for this game, because they did something else instead. And it only helps you if you lose or damage your Switch. Like they were saying, you have to actually contact uh, Nintendo's customer support to get your backup restored. Whereas if you, you know, want to switch, like, change to a new console, for example, or you lo like, or you have a second console and you want to play the game on that as well, you, you, can't, you can't do it with this game because that feature is only if you lose or damage your Switch. Whereas with all the other games, it, it works. Uh, I don't know. It makes no sense. Anyway, so that's one feature that's in that I had complaints about, because the way they've done it is is nonsensical. Um, there's a few more things to look at though, so we're just going to wait for this to load. Uh, thankfully that is not the only feature they added in the, I guess the August update? It seems like it's monthly. Hello there everyone! Right now on Canterlot, it's 1.32pm on Sunday, August 2nd, 2020. Tonight we'll be holding a special festival in the sky above our dear home, Canterlot. You guessed it, it's a fireworks show, and there'll be more than fireworks to keep you busy. You'll be able to chat with friends and participate in a raffle, all the way for vibrant night sky at glow with colour. I'll be in the plaza today, passing out some extra special fa favours and taking ideas for custom fireworks. Huh, it's been a while since my job took me outside the resident services building. What a treat! And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you in your enjoyment of our island. Thank you, Isabel. Okay, so this is one of the new things. There are fireworks shows now. I'm not sure how often they happen. I know they're happening like every Sunday this month. I don't know what's going to happen after that. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, oh, Red's here too. Hi, Red. 
There's all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, let's start by going to my mailbox here. Uh, when I did the update, it added these two. This one from Nintendo. Thank you for downloading the update. With your present show appreciation, please keep an eye out for future updates as well. I foolishly opened that off camera, so I can't show you me opening it. Uh, but I can open this one. Dear Dreamer, I am certain many memories of your island are dear to you. What if you could share those memories in the form of a pleasant dream? You can, and it is as easy as falling asleep in your bed. Sleep well, Luna. Princess Luna? <laughs> okay, so the present you got from Nintendo was this, the fireworks show wall. Uh, the present we got from Luna, I don't know yet. Let's find out. Luna's bed. Uh, she sent me her bed? Alright. Um, let's, uh, try these things out, I suppose. See what, see what they do. Just head on down to the basement, because there's nothing in here. There's plenty of room to try things. Uh, play some wall. So that's what a fireworks show wall looks like. It's pretty nice. It'd be better with a floor that matched, but yeah, it looks all right. Uh, let's look at the bed too. It's a bed. Uh, so Luna is a character who was in New Leaf. She ran a shop in the main street called the Dream Suite, sort of a shop. Uh, and the point of the Dream Suite is you can basically save a copy of your village or your island or basically your game to the internet and then other players can jump into that copy and mess with it as much as they like. And it doesn't affect the original because it's a copy. Uh, I assume if I lie on this bed... Should I get some sleep? Hmm... I think it might work with other beds too, so I'm just gonna quickly try a different one just to see what happens. So yeah, this is a feature from New Leaf. It used to be you had to go to the Dream Suite. I believe in this game you just go to any bed and it'll work. I think I have another bed here. Yeah, can I use this one or is it not allowed because it's up high? I think it's not allowed because it's up high. I'll just, I'll just grab another bed. Uh, let's see. Bed, 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 bed. <laughs> there we go. Oh, actually there's some downstairs now, I remember. I didn't plan this out very well, did I? <laughs> Yeah, there's a bed this way. I think if I get into any bed in the game, it should pop up that message. Here we go. Yeah. Should I get some sleep? Yeah, I want to sleep. Oh my. Welcome. If I'm not mistaken, you're from Canterlot, yes? You must be the famous Daniel. Good guess. Hmm, do you dream as pleasantly as those from Canterlot? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. My name is Luna. Oh, you're Princess Luna, okay. Think of me as a guide to the Library of Dreams. A dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear, then chooses to upload to the internet. <laughs> God, that's so cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, my role is to ferry travellers between dreams, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you have actually set foot on their island. Sounds fascinating, does it not? To visit another's dream, merely say to me, I want to dream. This need not be a one-way matter either. If you wish, I can collect to your dream of Cantalot as well. Then I will spirit your dream through channels of fiber optics to live in the library and be shared with the world. Put simply, to share your dream of Cantalot with others, tell me I'd like to share a dream. Well, now that we have the introductions out of the way, how may I be of assistance? Uh, let's try dreaming, let's do it. Of course, of course, but there are a few things I must clarify further before I guide you to your dream. Dreams, like many things these days, are downloaded from the internet. <laughs> the connection is, of course, required. Furthermore, a dream address and identity unique to each dream is also needed. So before dreaming, be sure you have your desired dream address at the ready. Oh, one other wrinkle. Dreams are very fragile things. To prevent the introduction of glitches, you must go empty-handed. 
Do not worry, I will happily hold on to your belongings and return them after you wake. I believe that covers everything. Now, you ready to link with the Library of Dreams? Yep. Then I shall connect to the internet to initialize a dream download. <laughs> it's so- it's- it's- it's just so Blade Runner. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. What is the dream address for your desired dream? Okay, I happen to have one here from a friend. I'm just gonna chuck in. Three, one, five... No, that's not right. Three, five, ten. I'm gonna put this in the description as well if you want to check it out as well. So, uh, look forward to that. Three, six, two, seven. Is that right? Yep. Thank you. One moment whilst I browse the Library of Dreams. Weren't you already connected to the internet? Dream address you provided appears to be from an island called Tirensil? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is correct. Yes, it is. Splendid, then everything is sorted. Please close your eyes and relax. Connecting to the internet again. Why don't you just stay connected, silly? Drift and compile and emerge within the dream of Tirensil. Tirensil? I'm not sure. That place. Dreamy, 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 dreamy. Dreamy, 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 dreamy. So yeah, it's it's a way to share what you've designed and stuff with other people without disrupting their game by letting people mess around with your real island. Now, open your eyes. You are now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named Tirensel. When you wish to awake from this dream, you only lie down in this bed. I will take care of the rest. Also, should you have any questions or need advice about dreams, please don't hesitate to ask. And with that, may your dream of Tirensel be a sweet one. Okay, so now I'm in a dream. You can, you can see my inventory is completely empty. I do have my money though, which is interesting. And the clothes I was wearing. Uh... This is nice. Got a path along here. A little archway there. Oh, look at the little little signs on the people's houses. That's so cute. That's adorable. This is very well organized. Uh, welcome to the custom designs portal. This terminal will allow you to take home a custom design made by the stream provider. I'm about to take the internet to check out the stream provider's custom designs. Eh, never mind. So in the previous game, um. You would see Wendell, who is like a walrus character who gave you designs sometimes in the dream, and Wendell would be how you got custom designs. It looks like they changed that. You just talk to the portal in the custom designs screen thingy instead. What's this? It doesn't particularly matter what you do in a dream. I don't think anything is saved. Uh, like items you grab, you don't keep, and you can't, you know, bring any tools with you, for example. Hello. Who do we have here? You a visitor? Well, you just make yourself right at home, as if. Alright. Uh, and yeah, you can see it's basically, I'm on an island, it's got the map and everything. And we look at the map application, see who lives here. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of people around. Cafe? What? That's someone's house, it's not a cafe. Is it someone named Cafe? Let's go have a look. <laughs> uh, they've got some tools on the ground here, because you can't otherwise get tools in here, I think. Um, let me just check. Hey Luna, do you require guidance? Dream islands are unchanging. Nothing you do can affect the real island, so you may do as you wish. You must also enter each dream empty-handed, but fret not. I will return your things when you wake. Is there any other information you require? Uh, it didn't help me. Understood. Have a pleasant dream. Be advised, here in Soul Residential Services is not available. Okay, so you can't you can't go into the town hall. Uh, I guess you have to leave tools out like this when you're making your dream if you want people to be able to do things, which is kind of weird. Uh, it's a strange limitation. Uh, it doesn't matter what I grab because it won't affect the dream, as I mentioned. Uh, let me see, what do we got? Fishing rod, axe, was that a thing a net? Yes, net. Fishing rod. I like them in a certain order, so I'm just checking what they are, so I'll grab them in the right order. 
I think I got it wrong. Yeah, I did. There we go. <laughs> um, we want the vaulting pole and the ladder, and that should do the trick. So yeah, I guess you just have to leave some tools out. Um, you could put them on a table, I suppose, that might be a bit tidier. Uh, if you don't want your town rating to be affected. Having stuff on the ground does affect the rating, but I think if it's on a table it doesn't. Also, what time is it? Like, the time- the clock just went off, but it's not showing me the actual time anywhere. Interesting. 6 a.m. it says. Is that the time in game? Huh. We've got here a film projector. Racetrack flooring. Can I go into these? Due to unusual circumstances, we'll be closed today. Nook's cranny. They're closed because it's a dream, I assume. Yeah, unusual circumstances there too. So yeah, um, you can do pretty much all the normal stuff, but... Oh, hello! Happy dreams, meow. Okay, so the villagers just wander around, and you can talk to them, apparently. That's kind of neat. You can go to sleep on another, like, sleeping surface, if you wish, and it doesn't affect anything. Oh, hello, giant isopod. What you doing there? This one's the cafe, right? We're open. <laughs> Yeah, there was actually a cafe you could build in your town in New Leaf that they haven't brought back yet. So I think what's been done here is Natsumi's just added a villager named Cafe so she can design a cafe. It's kind of clever. Uh, yeah, so you got you got the cafe walls and stuff. It, it looks good. It's very clever. Um, doesn't have quite as many rooms because, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of time upgrading your cafe house that you've built so that you can have a cafe. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Can I open things? Doesn't look like it. Interesting. Let's make some coffee. Let's go, yeah. I can open that one. The uh, Was that a steamer? Something like that? Okay, well you get the idea. Um, I assume I can't use uh, Island Designer. Can't use it while I'm dreaming. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, let's try some of the others. Custom designs. That works while you're dreaming. Uh, best friends list. That works. I don't think I'm actually online right now because it's using me online for other things. You can't look at the Quidipedia in a dream. That's kind of weird. Wouldn't have expected that. The camera works, so you can take dream pictures. Uh, chat log. Works. Nook shopping. Doesn't work because I'm dreaming. What about Nook Miles? Nope, can't use that in a dream either. Yeah, you're very restricted while you're dreaming. I imagine if you took some clothes off and then undreamed you would have them back on, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. This is really pretty. I like this design. I haven't put as much effort into like designing my my island. It's just sort of exists. <laughs> I like it though. What if I go to the airport? I haven't tried that yet. Hang on, there's a dinosaur. Hello, dinosaur. What are you doing behind those cut out bushes? <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this little island. <laughs> Cute. I think you might stay a bit further away and get like a perspective effect on it, but yeah, it still works. Can I interact with this little little thingy here? Yeah, but I can't do anything to it. Uh, can I read the notice board? I can read the notice board. Interesting. I wonder if these posts get set up separately from the normal notice board. Like when you make a dream, you get to pick what appears on its notice board. I guess we'll see in a moment when I like try to save a dream. If I go to the airport. I can go to the airport. Okay. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, hey there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're from another island, aren't you? I'm afraid those cards are reserved for local residents. I'd love to help you out, but you'll have to ha head back to your own island first. Hello again. You've come a long way to visit Tyr and Cell, so I hope you make the most of it. Okay, so you can't really interact with anything in there because you're dreaming. Which checks out. So yeah, this, this works more or less the way it did in New Leaf. It's just... Slightly more annoying. Um, New Leaf, I believe you had an option to rent the different tools that you need. Uh, rather than having to have other players put them out for you, which seems a bit annoyingly specific. What is that? Summer shell. Oh, no wonder I'm not seeing it. It's, it's winter in my town. If I hit minus, what happens? Do you want to report this dream? No. Okay, so the idea there is if something's, you know, incredibly rude and full of, like, fascist imagery or whatever, you can report it and Nintendo will take it down. I thought Minus would probably just let me save and exit, but it doesn't. It's kind of surprising. This is a really nicely laid out town. It's like a residential district sort of thing, with all the people's houses here. I'm impressed. I'm actually looking for the town hall again so I can get back out of here, but I've forgotten where it was. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay, so yeah, we've had a good look. Let's let's go back to bed. Is it time to wake, or shall I press the snooze bar and let you stay? I'm gonna wake up. Splendid. Please close your eyes and relax. Now imagine the shrill tones of an old alarm clock. When you open your eyes, you'll be in your bed, and I'll be gone. Until next time, Danielle. The way Luna talks sounds a lot like hypnosis, which is interesting. I, I guess that it's a similar sort of thing, you know, lucid dreaming. It sort of ties in with the whole hypnosis, te teaching your brain to work just a little differently from normal. Oh, look at the cute way I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm just a mess. That's adorable. <laughs> look at my foes. <laughs> Oh gosh. Well, um, so that's the dream world. Had a look at that. Um, now we're awake again. We can do normal things. Uh, I want to go have a look at the stuff for the fireworks show as well. Uh, I also should probably record my own dream. Uh, I think you can, like, create it and then update it. So I might just do it now and then go back and add tools later. Yeah, I, I want to do it now so you can see what the dream address is. Yeah, I want to sleep. Can I skip this little cutscene, or...? No. no. It's not too long, though. It's not a huge problem. <sighs> Welcome back. The dreams are well rested, tucked into their idling hard drives. How may I be of assistance? I'd like to share a dream. Of course, before we continue, there is some important information you will need to read first. Important info on sharing dreams. When you share a dream of your island, other players, including ones you don't know, will be able to visit a version of your island. That means the player-generated data about your island and its residents, captured at the time the dream is shared, will be made public. This data includes your name, your passport info, the look of your entire island, rooms and homes, your custom designs, any bulletin board posts, and more. All done. From here it is simple. First I will form your memory of Canterlot into a dream. Then I will connect to the internet to upload your dream to the library. Oh, there is something else you may be, may, be interested to, uh, may be interested to know. Visitors to your dream may bring back any design that is on display in your custom designs portal. Check your custom designs portal before uploading your dream to see which designs we made available. Try thinking of those designs as Cantalot souvenirs. Enough explanations. I shall now collect and compile your memory of Cantalot. Are you ready? I'm ready. Splendid. I shall now connect to the internet in the Library of Dreams. Uh, so in New Leaf, she just asked you, do you want to make uh, patterns available or not at this part, instead of just saying, you know, patterns you have shared will be available. I am in, and now I shall collect and compile your cherished memory of Cantalot into a dream. Close your eyes, picture what you love most about Cantalot. Relax. Relax. Thank you. 
There, the dream upload is now complete. Each byte now reclines in its new home. Well done. Your dream of Canterlot is filed into the dream address DA31392658-7302. To share your dream with others, simply give them the dream address. Again, it is that. Your dream address is currently set to appear on your passport and on your island's map. If you do not want your island's dream address displayed on your passport and map, let me know. Lastly, do remember your dream will not reflect any changes made to Canterlot after an upload. However, as your island develops, its dream can be refreshed if you wish. I can update your dream once per day. I believe that is everything. Thank you for your patience, and may your dream host many happy visitors. May I be of assistance to you in any other way? Uh, I want to wake up. I see. Please come again. You're welcome at any time. Okay, so yeah, that pretty much works the way it does in New Leaf. Although in New Leaf, she actually gave you 5,000 bells every time you you uploaded your dream. As like a reward for doing so. Oh, I'm not in, in the weird, in the silly sleeping position that time. Maybe it only happens if you just sleep for a bit longer. Anyway, um, so yeah, my dream won't have any tools in it just yet. But I'll put some in. Put some in, like, for uploading tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> And yeah, feel free to check mine out, or Natsumi's, or whomever's you want, because that's sort of the point. Uh, let's go look at the bulletin board. Uh, coming fireworks show. Yeah, every Sunday in August, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, um, as you can see, we have... Isabel here. Hello, hello, Danielle. As you can see, I'm busy making preparations for the fireworks show tonight. It starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Have you heard that we're planning to display custom fireworks during tonight's presentation as well? We're still collecting ideas for tonight's show, so let me know if you come up with anything good. All you need to do is bring me your idea in the form of a custom design. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, I think that might be a new feature. The custom design fireworks? That's interesting. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not open yet. Oh, why it's none of my favourite cousin. How are you, Danielle? Actually, we'll skip the chit-chat. I'm sure you're much more interested in the, att in the attraction I'm setting up here. It's a limited time and limited liability business I'll be hosting, so you'll have to act fast. Exclusively during fireworks shows, I'll be offering you the chance to win it big. I call it Red's Raffle. I hope you'll come back when it's ready and take a look. See you then. Thanks, Red. There's a bin over here, too. Uh... No, no, I like all my stuff. I just wanted to see what that did. Um, I guess that's all the new stuff. Actually, actually, no, there's one more thing. Uh, if you go to the camera app, you can actually click the right stick now to turn off all the controls, which is useful if you want to take screenshots with, say, an external capture device and you want them to be in full resolution, because the screenshots you get using the Switch's built-in thing, it, it's like, um... They're like JPEGs, and they're not super high quality. So being able to just do that is helpful. To be able to take the screenshots you want at full res. Assuming, you know, like me, you have an external capture device, like the one I'm using right now, to talk to you. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything, though. Uh, which is kind of a shame. Oh, no, wait. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, if we go back, go inside here, there's one more uh, new reward you can redeem with redeem Nook Miles for. And I think that's all. Huh. If I sit over here while Isabel's outside, does anything happen? No. Huh. I guess you can't access that stuff today. Interesting. Um, anyway. What I'm looking for here is... Redeem Nook Miles. This is mostly stuff we've already seen. Uh, if you go to the novelties, though... Uh... I think the snorkel might have been added when you got swimming as well, but I'm not, not sure. Probably the- and the wetsuit would have been. Uh, but the new one that's been added now is this. This little fan. You can hold that, and it's like the one that the Nooklings were holding near the start of the game. You can just walk around and wave the fan, the, the flag, and be like, Hey, I have a little flag with a, with a leaf on it. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's not super exciting, but it's just kind of cool. Um, that's about all that's there. So yeah, um, I guess I'll start up another quick video later later this evening once the fireworks have started so I can show off what that does. 
Because, yeah, right now it's not happening, so I can't really demonstrate it, but uh, it will be later this evening, and then I can show you what happens. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next time, what I said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll set up a, like a tool kiosk, maybe over here, uh, to just give you the basics so that you have tools to work with instead of nothing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say for now. Thanks for you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it wasn't too uh, ad hoc and... I can't think of the word, but you know, another word that means something like ad hoc. Haphazard. That's the word I was thinking of. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, this bed, uh, this is the one that Luna actually had in New Leaf, which is why you have it now. You don't need to use this one, but you can, so that's cool. Oddly enough, the in, in New Leaf, she also had a couch. You would go on the bed if you wanted to visit someone else's dream, or on the couch to update your own dream. But in this game, you use the set, just use beds for both, which is an interesting change. I guess I just wanted to simplify things. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I am going to stop talking now, because I keep talking. <laughs> Bye!